Santa Barbara High School and welcome to another episode of Channel 2 Action News. My name is Jackie Acevedo. And my name's not Rick. Here are this week's top stories. The 57th Annual Grammy Award was a three and a half hour emotional roller coaster, shifting from moments that were thrilling to moments that were historically impacting. Sam Smith's song, Stay With Me, won Song of the Year and he went home with four Grammys, including the award for the Best New Artist and the award for Best Pop Vocal Album. The past two weeks, Santa Barbara High School's senior class has been raising money by auctioning off senior students. In related news, a student named Colton has outbid Christian Peterson on another student named Shug. Christian might never be able to forgive him for that. Interestingly enough, the highest bid was not on a student. That's right, Santa Barbara's own news anchor, Shirin Rijay, thought a student auction was so creative and decided to participate to help a good cause. She brought in a whopping $55. Now let's go to ASB. Hey, it's Will, and this is ASB. First off, thank you to everyone who participated in the senior auction this past week. Thank you especially to all the winning bidders. I hope you guys had a buttery lunch on Tuesday. Do you like getting hit in the face with balls? Maybe you should sign up for the dodgeball tournament. Sign-ups are next week, Tuesday and Wednesday. The tournament's school-wide, and it's open to teams with freshmen through seniors, boys and girls. There are five people to a team, and it's $1 buy-in per person, or $5 per team. The winning team gets an engraved trophy that will be in the athletic office forever and there will be gift cards for everybody on the winning team. So I'll see you guys out there this Tuesday and Wednesday to sign up. It's going to be sick. And buttery. I'm Will. And I'm your ASB president, William Belfiore. And this is ASB. We're ASB. <laughs> Let's head on over to Counselor's Corner. What's up Santa Barbara High, I'm Bella. And I'm Cassandra. And this is your week's Counselor's Corner. Seniors, fast for help February 19th in the library, 5 to 8 p.m. And also all day February 26th in room 34. Also Don's Pride PTSA scholarships are due February 27th. And check out the FAST Web and College Career Center for more scholarships. Juniors, sign up for the SAT and ACT now. You sign up online, there are free tests, prep books in the Career Center. Also, if you need help signing up for a free wa waiver, go talk to your counselor. I'm Cassandra. And I'm Bella. And this has been Counselor's Corner. Thanks, Counselor's Cranny. Now let's go over to Political Corner with Jake the Cornflake. Good morning, Santa Barbara High. My name is Jake Sutton, and welcome to Political Corner. A lot's happened in the last few days, so let me bring you up to speed. Just this last week, Jon Stewart announced that he'll be leaving the Comedy Central hit, The Daily Show. All signs indicate that the show will go on, but with a brand new host. In other news, NBC News anchor Brian Williams has been suspended for six weeks with no pay in the wake of a scandal over misleading statements he made about his time covering the Iraq War in 2003. Williams lied, or at least greatly exaggerated, a number of stories of his experiences in the field during this time and others. And with that, it's time to end. My name is Jake Sutton. This has been Political Corner. Back to you in the studio. Great politics, Jake the Cornflake. Now let's head on over to commercials. Neither of my parents went to college. Something that was drilled in me early on, you know, college is the place for you. It's my number one goal. Students like me who take these AP math and science classes and have these opportunities. This is where the American dream lies. AP exams. Students may now order and pay for AP exams in the business office during lunch and after school. No sales during class time. Instructions in the AP calendar will be sent to AP classrooms this week. Hello and welcome to 30 Seconds. I'm Will Hahn and here's this week's top stories. This week is Valentine's Day or as we like to call it at 30 Seconds National Singles Day. That's all the news we have today. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend, Santa Barbara High. Hi, I'm Will Hahn. Each year, millions of gentlemen, just like these fine men, are left single on Valentine's Day. If you call the number on your screen right now, we'll send you one of them for just a low monthly fee. Thanks so much for your consideration. Have a great weekend. Hey guys, if you're looking to come and get your taxes done, come down to Donsnet Cafe, room 70, on Thursdays from 3 to 6 for free tax preparation. 
Oh, what's up, dude? Not much. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just waiting for help from FAFSA. When's FAFSA? Oh, it's here in the library from February 19th from 5 to 8 p.m. Or all day on February 26th in room 34. Really cool. Yep. I'll let you go. <laughs> all right. Catch you later. Didn't you know that smoking cigarettes can accelerate the dying process by up to 20%? Join Friday Night Live in room 210A at lunch and learn about things that can happen to you if you use drugs such as alcohol and tobacco. Hi, my name is Chimoy. And I'm Brandy. This Sunday the 15th at the Blind Tiger, there is a benefit concert for Gracie Fisher. She has a disease that is affecting her spinal cord and she is currently paralyzed from the neck down. There will be performances by... State of Grace, Brandy and Jammy, The Brambles, Bad Jake, center of our high school madrigals, and others who have played with Gracie. It's six to nine, free for all ages. However, a $15 donation is suggested for adults. Hope to see you there. Thanks, guys. Hello, children. On February 25th, come to the cafeteria at eight o'clock to take the SBCC assessment test. There's an SBCC application workshop on February 19th from 8 to, to noon on room 34. Those commercials rustled my jimmies. Now let's go look at sports. Hey, what's up Santa Barbara High? I'm Nellie. And I'm Madison. And this is your week's sports report. Boys basketball beat Rio Mesa 6-6-55. They play at home tonight against Buena. Come out and support. Basketball took a tough loss against Ventura last week. They had a game last night against Buena. Good job, girls. Boys soccer has a game tonight at home. Come check them out. Girls soccer has a game today at Buena. Wish them good luck in the halls. Boys wrestling has a Channel League tournament at DP this weekend. Wish them luck in the halls. Girls water polo beat Laguna Blanca 11-4 and Montebello 9-3. Great job, girls. And their next game is today against DP. Wish them luck in the halls. I'm Maddie. I'm Nellie. Back to you in the studio. Great sports, Dons. Now we've reached the end of another episode of Channel 2 Action News. My name's Jackie Acevedo. And I'm... Critosaurus. See you next week, Santa Barbara High. <laughs>